Good kitten internet. I guess we should actually progress plot. Ow, that's loud in my ears. Yes, I'm using my headset for game audio. I was using it for the last couple of videos as well. It's a little easier for me to split out the audio from the game this way, because I can now change my computer audio to be something else. Like so. You're still hearing the game. I'm still hearing the game, because RetroArch checks which audio device to output on launch, and that means that any other notification noise coming from my computer doesn't get recorded. In addition, because I'm using my headset, there's no feedback coming from my microphone, so it should be a little cleaner of an audio signal. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I already checked this. Yeah. We haven't done the tavern yet. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. Tavern. This is what I wanted to do. So it's been a week since I've recorded much of anything. Um, sorry about that. Just had a bit of a series of anxiety attacks. Daily. It's been going great. <clears throat> it's rare to have visitors in these parts. Here, have a nice stay while you're here. Okay. There's nothing to see around here. Nothing my granddad's day, nothing my dad's day, nothing in my day. There'll probably be nothing here in my son's day either. I don't know what the hell that accent was. You think we're an ancient people? <laughs> well, my granddad's over a hundred, does that count? This seems suspicious. It's never a good sign when, you know, Nobody else around knows... Is Everybody's pretending like this is a completely boring village, whereas every other tavern has been all like, Well, you see, back in the Holy Asha dynasty, dinosaurs roamed the earth. And this case is like, do, 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 Nothing's going on. Anyway, Eel and I, you don't look well. I do know this village. What do you mean? These stone streets, these houses. Oh no, flames! This village will become an ocean of flames! Uh, Yelena, uh, WTF? Oh, what happened? Suddenly she began, uh, she just started raving. Uh, she could lie over there at my house. Who's that? That's not Yelena. Oh, I think I know who that is. Interesting. They do actually have it timed to plot for the loading screens. Mm. She's relaxing now. She was very tired. Thank you for everything. My name's Ash Lambert. I'm Erosius, the elder of this village. Anyway, what possessed you to make the near-impossible trek across the mountain? Well, you see, fade to black, fade out of black. And that's what happened. Oh, I see. But as you see, this is nothing more than a mountain village. We have nothing to do with any magic stone or lost people. Huh. Sure about that? Chief! Monsters! We were out picking healing herbs when they attacked! Your granddaughter Lena is among them! What? Also, what is with that face? That portrait and like from uh, up there, that one, not that one. Sorry, again, everything's mirror image to me. So that one, it kind of looks like they have a really large chin for some reason. We'll save them. Where do we go? The Sukiu Plains, northwest of the village. I'm going to, are you sure? Don't worry, I'm feeling much better now. Also, you need all 12 members of your party, because now that Kira's back, you're never losing me again. Me or anyone else. Anyway, Suku Plains. I should double check to make sure... 
Okay. Just wanted to double check to see if there was any treasure I needed there. Alright, let's go ahead and leave the village. That's the planes. This is definitely supposed to be the Sukiu planes. What the heck, game? Grog, did you do this? There they are! Lena, don't worry about me! Save yourself! No, you can't give up! Oh, I know! I'll use the spell my granddad taught me! Spirits of the light surround me now! Elemental shield! Blomp! Ooh, that's a different effect. I thought it was supposed to be just a barrier. Uh, what? Um, that little girl just cast something that was ludicrously powerful and ancient. What the heck? Wow! We don't know how long it'll last, so let's get to work. Yep, perfectly normal village. There's absolutely nothing weird about it. Anyway, this is actually a perfectly normal battle. See, these people don't exist. So, because they don't exist, let's ignore their existence. All right, so we've got... Let's go back to our standard distant zoom that we didn't do during any of the trials. Got a bunch of gold golems. Handful of skelly bros. Unfortunate egg worms. And a couple of healers. Are you actually healers or are you... Offensive. You're offensive. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Okay, you can reach out to there. And I'm assuming you can... Yep. Very balanced. So as long as we stay within this area, we should be fine. Also, there are no hidden objects on this map. I caught a whiff of something that tastes good, which is weird because there's nothing cooking right now. Hmm. Okay, so the one thing I am worried about are those eggplants. I mean, eggworms. The egg worms are going to be able to hit me no matter what I do. So I might as well give them juicy targets, right? Uh, I don't think I can reach from here, but let's find out. Nope. Yeah, this is a fairly large battlefield. On the other hand, this might be enough height. Ah! I'm still gonna stay up here. Yeah, that's the direction that you're more likely to be attacked from. So I'm mostly focusing, say, ah, focusing my forces in one direction. Not the band. Hmm, that might not be a good spot for Darius. Oh well. Too late now. Dolan is actually going to stay behind with Kira. 
Zohar is also going to stay over here. Actually, these four are going to stay on this side. All right. Hey, those four aren't doing anything. Those five aren't doing anything. Just the eggworm. And yeah, attacking Darius like I thought. Ow! I knew I shouldn't have parked myself there. That's fine. Ooh. This might not be good. You can hit Darius twice. I was not expecting that. Well, luckily, those are the only two who can hit Darius, because otherwise this was gonna suck. Yeah, and you can attack Clint, and I don't care about that. Clint has height on you. Yeah. Not a problem. Oh, that's right, I'm getting XP again. It's been so long since I've... Oops. Gained XP. How did I do that? Uh, menu toggle. Okay. By the way, this game and this um, game, this battle isn't timed or anything. This is just a very standard battle. I am thinking Hux is going to ultra heal and hit the two folk who have been injured. I'm going to do that now rather than after some counterattacks because honestly, the only things that they're going to hit in range are going to die in one hit. So. I should double check people's levels, though. Okay. Uh, that's status. There we go. So, 22.7, or 22 23.3, 23.3, 23.6, 24.3, 24.2, 22.04, 23.06, 22.64, 23.94, 23.33, 23.14. Okay. So the level 22 people are the ones that should party. Oh, my housemates returned. I'm gonna save. Because while that's nice, this feels like a trap to me. So I'm gonna do it anyway. Deft. Do not like dealing with ranged attackers at all. All right, so now it's safer over here for my flyboys. Deft. Welcome to level 24? Weren't you one of the 23s? No, you were one of the 22s. Okay. You're the 23. You can definitely get hit back. Can you get hit back by anybody that matters? Probably just the Doom Angel. Meh. Bonk. concerned about Dolan and the Doom Angel, so I think I'm actually going to have Dolan move here. I mean, you're the king of the mountain, Zohar. 
Um, honestly, Sarah should probably stay put. I'll just have her move like this. Okay. This flyboy. Going over here. Make sure Ash only gets hit in one direction. Because that's going to suck. Actually, you know what? No. Ash isn't getting hit. Donk. Let's go do some donk. Donk! You know, you would think golems would be strong against having more rocks thrown at them, but nope. And that's everybody. Oh, I didn't realize I can get hit by one of them. I should have, but I didn't realize it. Well, they're all targets. I mean, they see how they're targets, right? Yep, you're gonna attack Dolan, like I expected, but it's Dolan, it's fine. As long as it's not a whole bunch of magic, which unfortunately it's going to be. I don't think you can reach with that spell, can you? No. Yeah. That's what I was expecting. But Kira can't hit, get hit by anybody else, so I'm not too concerned. Nice hit. Good job, Eamon. Alright. Grog is 22. I think Grog is the only one left at 22? Is that right? No, Kira's at 22. I would like to one-shot that acid ghost. It's probably not going to happen. How close are you? 74. Ugh. Well, I think it might be time for some phase shift. Well, no. First, it's time for a save. Actually, I bet I can get a lot more people if I stand here. Oh, I need to move over up and left one, but then I don't get the, oh, the angel's not as big a deal. If I go here, yeah, that's more like it. And you wonder why my mages and healers are so high level by comparison. Fish shift, I forgot to mention. Fish shift's over. I'm gonna fast forward a bit because um, this might take a while. And I haven't even gotten the really large area of effect spell yet. 92 XP. I didn't kill a single thing and got 92 XP. Nice. Which is why this is going to become hilarious. Yep, phase shift time. Probably should have done it in the other order because then I would have gotten more XP. Actually, I think I'm gonna science this. Sixty-four. So it's ninety-two and sixty-four. I'm gonna reload and try this again. Nope, oh, not from the beginning. Ah. One moment. Load backup RAM, cartridge RAM, in battle save. 92 and 46, right? All right, so Elon and I got 46 last time. Pay shift. So Elon and I should get less XP this time because she's, while she's doing more damage, she's not killing anybody. 49. I mean, it's possible XP is a little randomized. And 
the king of the mountain. Come on down from your high hill and blast the pure living snot out of everybody. Let's see if I get more XP or I get less. We might be in a situation like Trending Force where um, XP is based off of how much damage you do also. I thought kills gave more XP though. Ah, that was totally more XP on both characters' parts. I'm confused, but okay. By the way, do you have a new spell? Just Avalanche? Do you have a new spell? Just Avalanche. Okay. Anyway. Um... Yeah, take out the Acid Ghost. Pop. Kira, I would like you to also take out the Acid Ghost. But wait, I might need... Ah, oh, Dolan can't reach. Dang it. Shall we Thunder Wave? I think we should Thunder Wave. Though it's probably only gonna go kill the Golem. Hmm. I mean, I saved. I mean, Stone Shower technically hits all of them also. Ooh, this is another good time for science. Let me go ahead and save on Internal Ram. Let's see how much damage each do. Because I don't normally get a chance to test this. So Stone Shower, which has a smaller area of effect than Thunder Flash. So it'd be nice if they both did the same amount of damage. Thirty-five. Twenty-one. And max. Let's try that again. Honestly, I think I'd rather be here anyway. Thunder Flash! I don't get to see this one very often. I mean, I know I've cast it a couple of times in this run already, but I normally don't cast it at all. Okay, yes, this does more damage. And I gained more XP. Starting to throw some more Credence in the hole. The more damage I do, the more XP I gain. Unfortunately, these two Goobers are still alive. And Kira's gonna die from that guy. And that Goober. Hmm, this is a problem. I may have overextended a bit. Let's give them a target. So I could go here. Take out the ghost, but I'm pretty sure that Kira's dead next spell. Enough XP to level. One moment. I think I have a better way of handling this. Hmm. Puzzles. I think I can reach from here? Yes. 
can actually go back further. That's not a bad idea. All right, I need the Doom Angle attacked first. Here's basically the brilliant idea. That. Bonk! Still levels me up. Unfortunately, that gold golem is gonna hurt. That's the downside with this approach. But now the Doom Angle's dead. I didn't level. This isn't the positioning I wanted. Hold on. It's weird that I'm doing so much saving and loading when it's not even, you know, going between turns. But I need to be very precise in what I'm doing. Because this is lethal for me. I do actually want to stand here. And yes, I inverted the order that this is happening in. Your 55 hit points, I can't get that with just a spell, unfortunately. <sighs> there is might be screwed from this, and I might need to rethink a lot of cunning strategies. So my plan... is to give Kira a higher. That's why I needed to align myself better. Ooh, actually. Yeah, now is actually a good time for the Aura Gem, Grog. Oh, it didn't quite kill the Golem. I was hoping it did. Still level up, but... And you still hit four enemies. Okay, we've got this party still. Eamon needs health. Can you reach? No. Eamon's the only one who can. Crap. I need to deal with that goober. Oh, have you all gone? No. Well... Oop. I would have realized. Uh, you can't reach Kira, but you can reach Zohar. Yeah, Mystic Shielding Zohar is not a terrible idea. You have Delta Mirage. I think that's actually Ash's last spell as a Paragon. But I'm healing. Because that's actually what I use Ash's magic for the most. Because healing, healing is awesome. Also, healing gives you more XP in this game. Oh, good. Okay. quite reach the chest. Oh, that was a bad idea. Darius can get hit in both directions. I didn't think about that. Well, let's see if he survives. No, you're going after Ash. Okay. I mean, I guess his back's turned, but nobody else can attack Ash. You're going after Dolan. That's fine. Dolan's got the hit points to survive. You're going to attack Hux. That's fine, because he, Hux isn't weak against you, and Hux is really high level by comparison. You can't tell from him doing 67 damage with a melee attack. You're going to punch Sarah in the back. 
Sarah's gonna kill you with a melee attack. Yeah. Gaining 12 more XP. Skelly Bro is going after Kira. I think Kira lives. Yep. Okay. Save on internal RAM. We've got a bunch of things that I want to do. First off, let's get this chest, shall we? Oh no, it's a Mimic! That's the highest level enemy here. Shame if something were to happen to the Mimic. Oh wait, Mimic's dead. Thank you for the XP. Um, who else is level 22? Here is still 22. Just Kira. Only Kira. Got it. Oh, you're gonna get height. You're gonna go start tripping on a ghost. Oh, I should have healed before moving. That would have gotten me more XP. Yeah, I can't heal Kira and everybody else. Can't heal Kira and Dolan. Just very light yourself. Eight! Okay, maybe I should have done more than very You know what? Screw it. Let's do this right. Ultra heal. Three people actually being healed. 21 XP. Cool. Now it's time for the shot to the back. Goodbye. You now level up. Everybody's 23 or higher now. Yeah, you can't reach anyway. Oh, yeah. And rather than an immediate stab, because I like maximizing XP, I don't even know a spellbind will work. Never mind if, you know, I'll get any XP for it. Seven. Yes. Magic. Fairy Star, yourself. You should get more than 6 XP. Because you're healing a lot more than 6 damage. Yes, you got 10. Good job, me. Yeah, you're both 23. Okay. Wow. The one HP difference. Cool. Actually, what is the difference between the two of you right now, anyway? One seventy nine, one twenty five, one twenty six, eighty seven. So Eamon has one more attack and hit point, and Darius has one more agility. That's negligible, I suppose, but Darius is definitely a worse character out of those. Eggworm need to go down the hole. Alright. And... Sarah's can heal herself. 
assuming everybody else can be dead. Pretty sure everybody else can be dead. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's continue maximizing XP. Oh, bind. Because why not? So yeah. Magic. Wave at yourself. Gain 10 more XP. Grog, Smite. Good 3 XP. Dolan. Finish this. All done. You win. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, actual money. Not that I need any because I have so much money. 22,080. That's a lot. I think that puts me over 100,000 now. Admittedly, I did use an aura gem, but I think it was totally worth it. But we have plot now. Are you all right? Yes, thank you. Well, let's go back to the village. I think that's the end of plot. Nope. The spell that the girl used. Only the very highest in our craft know that spell. Also, did you notice the markings on the plane? Did you? Because I did. Because this is a very obvious thing. Yes, I've seen that mark before. The village chief is trying to hide something from us. I believe it shows it to you at this point. That's right. Nazca lines. What is it with strategy RPGs and having Nazca be a thing? I didn't hit anything. Still more plot. You saved my granddaughter's life. How can I thank you? Um, well, that's not important now. You know, I saved her life, but pff, whatever. You need to tell us the truth, though. What are you hiding? Uh -huh. What are you talking about? Are you freaking kidding me? No normal kid is capable of casting a spell like that. And did you notice the Nazca lines? The Nazca lines happen to be on Torora's Ark as well. And it's also the same mark as what's on your pendant. Duh. I see there's no use in trying to deceive you further. The villagers here are descendants of the ancient Baruni Empire. We were a civilization of sorcerers and sages. But then, our greatest and most terrible achievement was also our undoing. The Flames of Judgment! Hmm, just as I suspected. Morosius, please lend us your power. Uh, no. Our ancestors took pride in power and walked in the path of destruction. The power that they unwittingly unleashed, they later, later sealed away. We will not use power again. We will not repeat our mistakes. Uh... Flames Judgment are active. Just saying you're running away from your responsibilities. I mean, you sealed it, but not very well. If it was your ancestors that did this, it's kind of your obligation to deal with it. Dots. They saved us from certain death. You must lend them your strength. Hehe. <laughs> Lena. Hmm, I have an idea. We need to test your resolve. To that end, you are to go to the magma cave and take a dragon's fang. So, this is the first game I've ever seen where the test of strength doesn't happen toward the beginning of the game, but 
beyond the middle point. I don't quite understand it. This almost feels like it comes out of nowhere. Those are symbols of courage to our people. You know, fangs of a dragon. Lena will show you to the cave. Oh boy, come with me! And we finally have control again. So I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of plot, Internet. Turns out that we have, in fact, arrived at the ancient civilization of the Baroni. Biryani? Now I want Indian food. I am going to save, eat dinner, and I'll see you next time, Internet. Bye!